What is going on guys and girls welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones and Queen Daenerys Stormborn and before we get back into our very interesting war uh, for Marine here I do want to take some time to check out Westeros because obviously there's a lot of stuff happening there we always get some notifications so uh, I, I don't try to mention too much of that because we're obviously focusing on Slaver's Bay but I'm interested and I thought I'll take the opportunity here at the beginning of the episode to just check out some characters so we uh, we're gonna start right up here in the north with the White Walkers of Winter one of them we know was slain in personal combat by John Stark as he's now known, no longer Jon Snow, um, and uh, but obviously that doesn't matter to them. They will continue. They apparently have 45,000 men, and they're currently fighting against Rob Stark, who has declared a, a, a war for the dawn. They are also attacking Jon Stark, uh, the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, and they have already taken Castle Black, and then they're fighting some uh, wildlings as well. Then, of course, we've got Lord Commander Jon Snow. He's taken over after Danis Malister was killed uh, by a White Walker and Geo Moment was killed as well. But Jon Snow, so far, is the only Lord Commander who has actually killed a White Walker in combat. So, uh, good for him, I guess. Now, he's fighting with his brother, or half-brother, uh, Rub, uh, the young wolf, who, um, due to Balon's early demise, uh, was able to... Um, actually get out of the war relatively peacefully. Stannis has not declared war on him yet, and so he's focusing on the north. He's also uh, the king of the Trident, and he has decided to give Riverrun to the Umbers, as you can see. We've got Euron Gro Greyjoy. Um, he is uh, currently doing nothing, it appears like. He has taken some Pentoshi wife, and uh, yeah, I don't... I don't really know what he's doing. We've got Robin Aaron in the Vale, still defending against the Mountain Clans, although he's going to be winning that very soon. And he has helped Stannis in his wars. Stannis, obviously, the tyrant ruling from King's Landing. He's also the Prince of Dawn. He's just taken that title and kept it for himself. And he uh, has given Dragonstone to the Masseys, Justin Massey. He's given the Florence Storm's End and his daughter, Shireen is married to Edric Storm, so that actually makes a lot of sense. And we've got uh, Queen Cersei the Soulless, independent queen of the Rock. She's got the Bloody Flux, married to Lancel Lannister, who rules who rules Crackla Point actually. So that's kind of cool. We've got Mace the Ace as the independent king of the Reach, and then the only other thing, uh, only other two things I would like to mention is that we've got. Um, We've got uh, Littlefinger, who's married Lady Almina. He is the Lord of Rosby, and he is still a vassal of Stannis. So I don't know what he's really been up to. Um, and other than that, we've got Brienne the Maid as Lady of Tarth, and she's married match linearly to uh, to this guy. So uh, yeah, House Tarth is actually going to grow more powerful uh, in the next generation. Anyway, that was a quick recap of. Westeros, and now we're going to return to Marine. So, yeah, let's move on forward. We are besieging with Drogon. We're besieging Yunkai, and I think we're going to deploy our dragon in a siege once more. Because, as I said, I just want to lay waste to this, and this time we're gonna we're gonna actually shout it, Drakaris, and uh, we actually gain prestige. No, Drogon gains prestige for that. Very nice. And this should make it easier for us to take the city, but it doesn't actually take all that long either. Queen Cersei declared her war to reclaim their ancestral heirloom from Stannis Baratheon. And I wonder what that might be. It's not the Shadowskin Cloak. Uh, it could be the Crown of the Rock. Probably. I assume it's the Crown of the Rock that they are after. Or it could be Heart Eater as well. Joffrey's own sword that's possible either one of those things now Stannis got 30,000 men Cersei has fewer so we'll see notice how I said fewer there yeah that's right anyway um, the son of the mists have been defeated good and we have defeated some men here as well and that's good Grey Worm leading our well, what do we even have? We've got, we've got Dothraki, we've got uh, Unsullied, yeah, and Freedmen, basically. 
Now, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, there is the wise master of Yunkai. We finally got him. So he, I assume he wanted to take a ship and an escape, but you can't escape a dragon. Uh, we're gonna imprison the entire family and put them into the dungeons. There we go. And that would be the end of the war, but I'm not quite done yet. We will deploy our dragon in the siege once more. Drakaris. And, uh, yeah, I wonder if I can do this again. Probably only once per siege. Now we've got plenty of prisoners. Now, let me quickly check who you are. You are the brother. I think you, well, hmm, who's going to be your heir? The grand city of Yunkai will be Yazane. It's okay. I, I think so, right? Yazane. So we can execute you. Although you are not the one that declared the war. Maison. Let me quickly check the history here. So because Yezan, he was slain by Rakaro. Maison was died under suspicious circumstances. Hmm. Well, let me see what happens if we win. He will pay us money. All lands held in the name of Wise Master Grazan, which are legally part of Queen Daenerys' realm, are returned. Well, what is legally part of my domain? Um, I'm uncertain. Astapor? Could be. I don't know what happens to all the prisoners that we have. Now, I don't need to execute three olds necessarily. Is that your wife? It is. Right, I think we'll just enforce demands. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. And I hope we... I think we lost a couple of prisoners here. But yeah, our war has ended. So what happens now? Okay. We have usurped titles. Breaking the chains. They call themselves wise masters. I call them fools for defying me. I returned to Marine with Drogon and my new Kalasa and crushed the Yunkish host. Despite my victory, Yunkai remains the greatest threat to my freedmen. So now I prepare to march upon that accursed place. Then on to Astapor and any other city that refuses to bend the knee and break the chains. I will not res rest until the East is liberated, for they call me mother and is my duty to free them. So I think the next one that will be liberated here should be New Gis. Uh, the legions of New Giz will fall. But yeah, so far, we have uh, we have taken Yunkai, Astapor. We'll keep that under our control, um, well, as much as we can. But I first want to give out Malkai to uh, uh, Zarak Zozak. Although, oh, we killed, we killed his son. Well, I will give it to someone else. Who can I give it to, though? That's the thing. Who can I give it to? I would like to reward people at my court, but I don't quite know. Maybe, you know what I could give it to? Romo. He's very old. He has served as well. Uh, I think he will, he deserves something. Uh, do I want to give you the city? Hmm. I want you to control the demon road. Alright, Romo, you'll get Malkai. There you go. Um, he doesn't actually like us all that much. To me, held high lordships. Astapor, Yunkai, Marine. Yeah, well, that's just the way it's going to be for now. Um... Then we obviously, ah, uh, we have the red lamb I can give stuff to. And then we've got, we've got the, the yawn wood and Garrus drink water, obviously, that we can give lands to as well. We've got obviously our bodyguards. 
that deserve titles. Um, you can just perform charity here. I need a new court physician, maybe. Title loss on succession. Still unmarried. And do we have the Yunkish Harbor? I think that I can just create a new vassal. Then the question is, who rules this? Hmm. Whatever happened to Cleon? What's his problem? The Butcher King. Can I not make him king again? Probably not. But the legions of New Gis will fall. We'll, we'll go there next. And do I just fly there? I don't know how many men you have. It's on an island. I have no ships. We'll see what happens. Now, after considering your demands, we have found you leave us no choice. Slavery is hereby outlawed in the kingdom of New Gis. We trust this will satisfy you and that you will leave our lands unmolested. Well, good. That was smart. That was very smart, Grazdan the Sixth. Uh, yeah. The war ends. Indentured servitude. I hope you will keep it, though. Alright. Now let's move on. Next up should be Volantes, for sure. But I think Volantes will not bend. I think they would rather break than, uh, than submit. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. For now, let's move on forward. Okay. Now, do I have ships? Uh, very few. Very few. I would like to... Can I just revoke your title? I can't. I could just give lands to Cleon. What's his problem? Usurped title. I could just give you... The High Lordship of Astapor. And be done with it. He would still want the kingdom, though. I'll give it to you. He's still upset about that. Wow. What a dick. Well, anyway. That's fine. Um, I have at least given out some titles. And then there's still Yunkai that I need to do something with. And I just don't know who I can give Yunkai to. Well, we'll see. Um, now, we have received word from Mir. Magister Loso had led them to join a coalition defense of Volantes. A declaration of war. Okay, well, they will be crushed as well. Illyria, too. No problem. I just need ships. We have 14 ships, which is nice, but that's not quite enough. That's not nearly enough. So I would need to hire mercenary ships, some sail, sell sail fleets. Um, in fact, 50? How many more can we hire? I mean, they're not super expensive. We've got some cash. And we are probably making money right now anyways, yeah. That's a hundred. I mean, I'm probably just going to hire as many sell sales as I can. There we go. That's all the ones we can hire. That's fine. And uh, do I want to lead this personally? Probably. I want to burn Volantes. So I'm going to be leading this personally probably shouldn't have hired that many ships then but um, that's fine we'll just fly there with our dragon the Empress of Lang has joined in against us as well and Illyrio has died wow before we could actually do anything hmm that's unfortunate he died before he could see us become the queen that we always that we always were basically but yeah, let's um, let's move to Volantes. Now, Misande has become a brilliant steward just in time to 
be appointed hand of the queen. Don't tell me I can't make her hand of the queen. You... Ugh. No, this sucks. This really sucks. We don't have... Oh, you can't make... No. Can I at least back up, make a mistress of coin? Oh, that is so upsetting. That is so upsetting. Mistress of laws? Come on, Masande. Only mistress of whispers. Wow, this guy is super good. Not even that. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, there is Misande. Okay, so it's possible. But yeah, she's not that good in these fields. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Well, anyway, Grey Worm, you're going to stay in command. So who will be... Mass of Laws? Romo. Sure. Hand of the King. Someone I like. Rokaro? I guess. He's designated regent. Master of coin. Someone I like. Strong Belvas. I mean... I guess. I don't know if I trust him with coin though. He's not exactly... Amazing. Cleon? Cleon. Man, I don't know. Is Ricaro still leading troops then? No. Hmm. Or is he maybe? No, he's not. Right, fine. Now, the dragon Rhaegal is a ravenous beast. We'll, uh, we'll pay for it. Doran Martell has been burned. So now, Ariana Martell. And she's probably married Garibald Shells. Okay. Interesting. Oh! Gra Kraken and Dark Flame. Oh, maybe I should have waited with the fleet. A fleet has pulled into my harbor, bearing news from Westeros. News of war and betrayal. Its captain, a man by the name of Victorian Greyjoy, has come offering me passage back to Westeros and the means to control my wild dragons if I will give him my hand in marriage. Now, the dragon and the kraken shall rule the world together. Victorian marries Daenerys Stormborn. We gain the trait, or he gains the trait Dragon Rider, and he becomes close friends with Rhaegal. 300 ships arrive in Slaver's Bay. So yeah, I should not even have paid for these. He's not a fit consort. Now, he's an absolute idiot. But, I mean, even even ha having hired all, all the ships, um, I can't quite, yeah, it's quite, it's not quite enough, so... I think I'll... I'll accept it. We'll marry another husband. I... Now this is weird because... Um, obviously, neither the books nor the show have gotten this far. I mean... The show, well, is going a different path anyway, but... I think we'll do it. We're being a bit pragmatic here. And uh, we'll take these ships. So I don't need to sell sail fleets anymore. Let's stand him down. It's a bit of a wasted money there, but it wasn't all that much. Let's uh, get you here first. So, Victorian Greyjoy, a husband now. Bit of an idiot. He doesn't like us much either. But he's a dragon rider. His rival is Euron Crow's Eye. A man named by Mar and a man by the name of Marvin the Mage. Oh, wait, no, that's not him. That's Marvin. Ar Archmaester Marvin. 
has arrived the marine. He is an arch maester of the citadel, short and squat with enormous hands, a thick chest and a hard ale belly. He says he spent eight years in the east mapping distant lands, searching for lost books, and studying with warlocks and shadowbinders. After hearing of your dragons, he traveled here to, to offer you his services. That his ring, rod, and mask are made of Valyrian steel would suggest he knows of magic. He's also offering a precious glass candle as a gift. Okay, so this is being added to our treasury. Very cool. And he joins us. Now he's going to be a court physician, I think. That's what we'll uh, appoint him as. Marvin. Very good. Oh, that's so cool. Our council is slowly uh, filling. Um, can I get a new septon? I don't know. Need a master of coin as well. I guess the command of the Yung Kai Harbor, maybe we'll appoint him to uh, just administer our holdings for now. And you can serve the court, Marvin. So, we've got a glass candle. Let's quickly check this out. We've also got engines of war. Oh, great. Oh, his da had, had it uh, under his control. Let's check this out. A glass candle is a candle made of obsidian. It is claimed that when the glass candles burn, the sorcerers can see across mountains, seas, and deserts, give men visions and dreams, and communicate with one another half a world apart. Well, we shall see what happens. We have found a new husband now, and he's brought us some ships. Now, we're still in love with Dario, but, uh, you know, we just can't marry him. Anyway, that will be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.